Hey everyone, Garbage here. So apparently, Valve is working on a brand new game. Yesterday, Tyler McVicker, formerly known as Valve News Network, went on stream and revealed some information about a new game that Valve has been working on called Neon Prime. The way he describes it, it is a sci-fi, third-person, team-based, class-based hero shooter slash MOBA in the vein of Overwatch, TF2, and Dota, but on a much larger scale. The goal of the game is to destroy the enemy base, or as he says, ancient, to put it in Dota terms, and it takes place on a map so large that you sometimes have to ride trains to get from one area to the next. Apparently, there's a lot of random elements on the map as well to mix things up, and it will also include things like base building and commanding squads, if I understood him correctly. A lot of people have been comparing this game to Smite because of the unique classes and all, um, but to me, it actually sounds a lot more like a milsim where you have your squad and all of the members in your squad are in different classes and they play different roles within the team. That's what it sounds like to me, and honestly, that would be kind of cool if Valve made a game like that, uh, but this is all just speculation. Now, normally, I wouldn't be too interested in playing a third-person class base hero shooter slash MOBA, but because it's by Valve, I can't help but be a little bit intrigued. If there's a game developer that could do this kind of game justice, it would be Valve. Tyler did mention that there's going to be a bit of combined lore sprinkled throughout the game, which could mean it takes place in the Half-Life universe, but there seems to be some confusion over whether the game is inspired by Half-Life or Dota or if it's just a standalone title we don't really know. And remember, all this information is coming from a single source, Tyler McVicker, who is admittedly very knowledgeable about what goes on inside Valve, but it would be nice to have more corroboration from other sources before we can make any conclusions. Overall, I'm pretty interested to see where this goes as a longtime enjoyer of Valve games. My one hope for this game, assuming it is actually real, is that Valve doesn't just abandon it like it did with TF2. Keep the updates coming, Valve. That's what we want. Uh, there may or may not be an official announcement about Neon Prime in the near future. We'll just have to wait and see, I guess. Uh, but what do you think about it? Does Neon Prime sound like an interesting game to you? Let me know in the comments, like, subscribe, and bell, and as always, have a nice day.